Hello and welcome to this video tutorial with me Paul Hill. In this video I'm going to be taking you through the installation process for the Wacom Bamboo Pen and Touch tablet. Um, I'm shortly going to be doing a review of this tablet for my graphics tablets website which you can find at www.bestgraphicstablets.com So let's get started with this. Um, I've just received the uh, the bamboo tablet today uh, and I'm just about to plug it into my laptop for the very first time and we'll see what happens okay so there you can see um, the Windows message to say that the device driver is being installed now I have seen with this in the past um, on the touch models that although that message there says that the device is ready to use it actually isn't the pen isn't active it is only the touch so I'm just going to try this hopefully this works out okay yeah cool so there you can see that the mouse is moving um, albeit very tentatively and if you put the pen in your hand it starts to jump see what's happening here is it's it's reading the touch input on the tablet um, and the pen is not yet active so just disregard this and go straight ahead with the next steps in this video okay so we're going to go into the software which arrives with the tablet it's um, it's already in the box I'm just going to double click the bamboo icon and it's going to extract so I've, I've been using a Wacom Intuos tablet for quite a while now um, and if it's anything like the installation for the Intuos it, it doesn't take a great deal of time so I'm not I'm not going to pause this is this is just going to run in real time just so that you can see how long it actually takes and and what actually happens throughout the process okay so that is just finishing up extracting now okay all looking good so far he says and then we'll just wait a little bit longer okay so here we have the the hello screen on the Wacom bamboo software so I'm just going to go straight ahead and start um, the Wacom bamboo pen and touch tablet is an ambidextrous model which basically means that you can rotate it to suit your needs as a left or a right handed person being a left handed person myself I'm just going to select that agree to the terms and conditions I don't think anyone anywhere has ever disagreed with anything on uh, user agreements but there we go okay so this is just going to run through now installing the driver and the associated software that arrives with the bamboo so first impressions of the software I um, I quite like the the graphics that's going on in the background there quite playful although the, if this installation was going on for a long time I'm sure it would become quite repetitive but on the whole a lot better than the uh, the usual Microsoft blue progress bar which seems to bear no resemblance to the time remaining for the installation So as, a, as an IT engineer myself, I've carried out many installations in the past and I can assure you that this is one of the more entertaining um, backdrops to an installation, shall we say. Uh, 
Okay, that seems to be progressing quite quickly now. My screen's just decided to go darker for a second. Okay, so I'm I'm not sure what's going to happen at the end of this. Um, some graphics tablet software requires you to perform a restart on your machine. Some of them um, don't actually need this. So, like I say, I'm not sure what's going to happen. There may or may not be a restart at the end of it. Hopefully, there won't be. But let's wait and see. Almost done now. So I mean, just running through this real time, you can see that it doesn't take a great deal of time to actually carry out the installation, nor does it uh, require a great deal of configuration either. Okay, cool. So congratulations, the installation has finished please restart your okay so it does require a restart I'm just going to go ahead and do that um, and I will see you on the other side of the restart hello and welcome back to the video so following the restart of my laptop I'm pleased to say that the bamboo tablet is now fully functional so I'm going to be using the pen throughout the remainder of this video I just want to go into the Wacom Preferences application to show you some of the configuration settings that can be done for the tablet. So here we have uh, the orientation, which I mentioned earlier that it is an ambidextrous model, so you can configure it to be in either left or right-handed mode. The express keys, of which there are four on this particular tablet, um, can be configured to perform any of the functions on these on this drop-down menu. So feel free to um, configure the buttons as per your personal requirements. If we go to the pen tab, here we can set the, the softness or the firmness of the eraser, um, configure the functions of the buttons which are located on the pen itself. Uh, we can set our tracking to mouse mode, configure sounds, etc. On the touch options, this is where you dictate the performance of the pointer itself so you can increase the speed, acceleration, double time, etc. Uh, basically the, the settings that you would uh, are familiar with with your um, mouse. Okay, so if we go to the next tab, uh, which is the touch functions. Now touch is a relatively new technology which I believe started with the Intuos 5 and it basically allows you to use your finger to perform functions on the tablet. Now my personal opinion is this that is going to be a strong feature with all uh, future models of Wacom uh, tablets so the, the quicker we are to familiarise ourselves with these functions then the easier we will, we will be going forward. So the things you can perform as you can see on the screen and as the illustrations quite handily show you on the right hand side are things like zoom, rotation of um, of the page, all the things that, or sorry, many of the things which you would usually have to use the keys for um, if you're using a program like Photoshop etc. Okay, so if we go to the next tab, it's the pop-up menu. Now, in order to get the benefit of these, what you need to do is you need to set one of the buttons on the pen to pop-up menu, for instance. So if we go there, then the configuration settings for the pop-up menu can then be put into action. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the configuration of the Bamboo tablet. I've taken you through the installation of the software, which is very, very easy. Um, you've seen how it takes well, it'll take no longer than six or seven minutes with the inclusion of a restart, and then you are good to go in using your brand new Wacom Bamboo Pen and Touch graphics tablet. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.